Alright guys, so here's my updated video. Uh, this time, well the previous video, I was just showing you the mouse. And it wants me to log into Facebook groups, let's not, and say we did. Um, I had the phone horizontally flipped. So I'm going to just show you the optimal experience here. Alright, here we go. I had the mouse hooked up. I basically use it as a regular PC, you know. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate to you the actual notepad. Alright, we'll just highlight all this. Backspace. Alright. Hello. My name is Victor. Boom. Look at that. Let's see if I can position this better. So you can actually see me type. Alright, so. I am making. It's kind of hard to like do this right here. So you guys sit and see making a YouTube lethal whoopsie whoopsie daisy. Let's try this again. I am making a YouTube video for you guys. And as you can see, I cannot type naturally on the day that I'm trying to demonstrate something to you. Uh, backspace tab. You can use tab. Um, you know, just basically start typing anywhere, I think, yeah. Shift tab to go back up. Exit to app exit the application. You want to hit tab on the keyboard again. Or, or you do. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. Okay. Well, excuse me. Um, we will use our handy little mouse here to go back to the application. There we go. But yeah, that's basically the functionality. Um, I would play some music, but you know, um, kind of like actually here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go on YouTube. I'm gonna demonstrate, guys, to you that this for real works. Like the volume on this keyboard. This is a USB. This is a regular Apple keyboard that I have gotten like a long time ago. Um. Yeah, let's just pop up a random video. LGR. LGR Tech Tales. You are the man. Alright, so. As you can see, my mouse cursor moving around. Oddware, okay. Over here, we have the volume buttons. And it actually works. This thing could be Oddware. It's ridiculous. Pretty neat. Um, the only thing I'm not really sure about is the actual battery usage. I think it takes up a little bit more battery usage than you would typically have if you were just using your phone on a normal kind of stance. Um, but the only way I'm re actually able to use this is via USB hub. I have this USB hub connected to the phone port, which is a USB 3.1 to 3.0 connector which is connected to this hub, which is connected to the mouse and the keyboard, and that's how I'm able to use both things at a time. Uh, you can use either or, as mentioned in my previous video. And so, yeah, uh, keyboard works. Let's see, let's see if the brightness works. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The brightness works very good. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Balls play. Just this Let's see. Here, that's I can't really. I would show you like how to do the next down. song, um, but yeah, that's pretty neat. I think it's uh, just grab a you know if you have a phone, uh, an Android phone that has an adapter. Or I have not tried it on an Apple device. I think it would probably freak out personally. But if you guys have one, try this at home. Try try an Apple device at home. Let me know. Um, and you could probably actually, because I have a, I have a four port USB hub, I can probably just plug in one of these suckers and use it as like a storage device to transfer files that I have already on this device. Um, I'm just going to unlock it with the fingerprint that I have here. Yeah, come on. There we go. So, yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think in the description below. Uh, it's funny that we have a Apple keyboard running an Android device. Um... But yeah.
I think it's pretty cool. Just sit back and just watch it in theater mode. And this works with most Android applications. Um, the other thing is, I just noticed that that one is frozen. Okay, that was weird. Alright, we'll go back to the home screen. And yeah, use the scroll wheel to scroll in between things, pages and whatnot. Notifications on top. Okay, and uh, hit escape to get out. And that's pretty much it. Let's see, keyboard now. Um, every keyboard is different, of course. So if you have like a regular Microsoft keyboard that has other options on there, um, I don't know what it does. I would have fun and explore. Uh, yeah. So basically, my inspiration for this video was LGR Tech Tales. I seen him do like a a video with the um with like an old IBM keyboard. He plugged it in through a USB, and it was a USB to PS2 input because that's what the keyboard had was a PS2 input device plug in, and that's how it worked. Um. I'm not really sure about the actual power consumption. I bet I could probably just download an Android app and figure that out. Um, I mean, it doesn't drain your battery like crazy, I don't think. The phone is a little warm. But I think it's just because I've been using it for a while. Other than that, I really... I think it's a really cool concept. Oops, I'm about to spill my drink. And, uh, yeah, I just like the fact that I can use a mouse, and it's my first time really trying it. I don't really use this on a day-to-day -day basis. But, uh, it is very good when you have, like, a, when you have, like, the Word application on here, and you want to do, like, a paper on the go, and you're like, crap, I don't have my computer, I don't, or I'm not close to a computer. It's really good for that kind of stuff. Um, especially when you can just bring a full-size keyboard, throw it in the back of your car or whatever, and... Or in your backpack, and you're good to go. Um, so, and along with the mouse, might as well just come with a hub and use a mouse for it. So, uh, yeah, and you can just use another USB device to store all your documents on there. Very convenient way to uh, do mobile computing rather than worrying to buy a laptop on the go if you're in an emergency situation. Bam! So, I don't really have a proper stand. Uh, I have a clip on for this case. So, I could probably just like prop it up anywhere I go. Just like that and use that as like a regular computer screen. So, um, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below.